Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're talking about OMAC issue number five. This is by DC Comics, One Man Army Corps. Look at this insane cover. This is Jack Kirby, to me, at his most in insane, you know, just unfettered Jack Kirby. Um, for those of you who do not know, Jack Kirby has been was a long-time uh, Marvel guy. He... he created with along with stanley uh fantastic four avengers thor um i, I think daredevil uh i know the x-men and so much so much more you know he was just a a, a, a phenomenon of, of, of output over at marvel and then him and stanley had had a falling out i'm not exactly 100 percent sure what happened i think i think uh jack finally got tired of uh stan's like constant like uh stealing the credit but uh, he went over to DC and he started right away on uh, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen and he started right away doing the fourth world like Darkseid and, and, all, and New Genesis and all that stuff. But he was given a whole bunch of other titles. Well, you know, like Omak, Commandy, uh, uh, The Demon. Jeez, why, why, I'm blanking out. But so many, so, so many stuff. So this was a very, very prolific period for Jack Kirby. He eventually went back to DC. I think he went back with uh, 2001: A Space Oddity, and then uh, he went did like Black Panther and and, and uh, Machine Man. Just just never stopped working. Never stopped working. The guy was a phenomenon. But one of the things about Omac, I find Omac to be Jack Kirby's like most prophetic comic. So much stuff in this this has has come true. He pretty he, he Jack Kirby is almost like supernatural in in, in his imagination. Like. Un un unbelievable like a little tough kid from brooklyn you know c cigar chomping guy is just just a uh a, a, a prophet there's really no other way to describe it but let, let's look at this we got old mac up here and then we got these old people going into the machine coming out young again so let's talk a little bit about the premise of omac omac is set in the near future and it's it's jack just applying through his mental machinations like what would happen in, in the world with technology? You know, sometimes, unfair, you know, we all look at technology as a boon and it is, you know, I'm not, I'm not a Luddite, you know, I'm, you know, I, I do think that this mechanized world right now is probably the best time in the history of humanity to, to be alive, mostly because of a, just all this technology, food abundance and the ability to travel and, and, and soaps and vaccines and everything like that. It's just a great time to be alive. But Let's not kid ourselves. The, the potential for disaster is also very high with nuclear weapons and bioengineered diseases and, and things like that. With the ability to travel, we also have the ability to spread disease. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just, I'm just uh, waxing philosophical. But anyway, so Jack Kirby was, this is pretty much what this comic is all about. Technology, just un, unrestrained technology. And uh, it's it's just really, really outstanding. Let's start with this wonderful uh, Batman and Robin. It, I, is, is this Neil Adams? I don't think it's Neil Adams. I, I No, it's not Neil Adams, but I, I don't know who does it. But anyway, Batman is a genius because he knows that Twinkies are delicious. And he, he also knows that fruit pies are, are disgusting, horrible, and, and, and evil. So there we go. So the most horrible menace in human history, hatched by the vicious criminals of the world, that's coming that's like the catchphrase the world that's coming to watch it is to grow indescribable to let it spread to unthinkable to stop it cold will it cold will take omac wow that's pretty awkward but anyway i probably read it wrong so what is going on uh omac has has found basically an, uh, an underground uh kidnapping ring and, and what are the what is the kidnapping ring do the kidnapping like hot chicks and, and, and fit guys for what purpose they dissect them and you can this old lady over here could have her brain transplanted into the hot chick so they're capturing murdering enslaving these these, these hot chicks and hot guys as as cattle as stock for for rich people to 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 steal their bodies it's a terrifying concept Let's look at this. Volume 2. This isn't the, uh, you know, OMAC wasn't canceled and start over again. DC used this uh, magazine numbering style back then. What, what it was is every year it was a different volume. So each year is a volume. So this is the second year in its publication and it's number five. How is that possible? Well, I think it came out like every three months. You know, Jack Kirby was working on a bunch of comics. And uh, I don't know, to me, that, that kind of kills the enthusiasm. I, you know, monthly comics 
that's the thing, you know, to, to, to have them uh, come out once in a blue moon like this is, is it's going to kill the momentum. So they developed the, these bad guys developed a computer that could swap out brains. And he, these are all the captured people. So, so you want that body? That's how much you're going to pay. You know, you want that body? You're going to have to pay a certain amount. So, uh, it, it, like I said, this is just a terrifying concept. You know, I will this this happen? You know, is this the world to come? I think variations of, of this was going to happen. I don't know. I, I, I feel like plastic surgery and, 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 and uh, you know, growing organs and, you know, gene splicing. I, I don't think we're going to need to steal and murder people to take their bodies. But I do think the rich people are going to get like, you know, like some sort of treatments to, to, to restore these. So this this old old timer over here he wants the uh he's well this old timer this old woman this old woman that uh, they just big you know check it out you could be this this big old big old booby girl you could be that sexy redhead you want to be that guy you know whatever you want what whatever you want. you got the money doesn't matter and omac is horrified i can't believe this is going on so he's he's being a briefed by the uh, global peace agency and the global this this is just brilliant you know I, I i don't know i'm kind of in awe of this so this is a uh superior and so he's talking you know this this guy's global peace agency guy and he's talking about this guy who's running this this body bank as they call it and uh so now what's he doing he's he's putting on his uniform what is his uniform he's removing anything that gives him a racial identity in order to be a global peace agent, everybody has to identify with you. And if everybody identifies with you, that means you have nothing of of any characteristic. So he's, his hair is a wig. He's removing his eyebrows. He's everything like that. And then they put on this spray that just gives them, you know, like, I guess like this conglomeration of every skin tone of every race on earth. So it's just this like tannish whatever. He can't see his eye colors. You, you know, you he, he, he can't see his jawline, the shape of his nose. You know, it's just, you know, there. Now, that, that, that represents you. Unbelievable. I, I find that to be scary, fascinating, and, and, uh, and, and you know, genius all at the same time. You know, that, that you, you want representation? There. You're going to get so much representation that, that uh, nothing is distinguished. No, no, there's no features. You know, if, if, if he has blue eyes, then people with brown eyes can't identify with him. If he has red hair, then nobody else can. If he has black skin, then nobody else who's not black. You know, it's just unbelievable. And it just shows you that this is the end product of, of, of identity politics. The end product of, you know, he doesn't have any distinguishing features on his clothes. He doesn't have any distinguishing features on his face. There. Now, now you can identify with him because he's nothing. <laughs> and then we got Electro Man over here. Unbelievable. But it's not impossible for the super bodybuilding system. You know, this guy will give you something to identify with. You know, I don't know. I'm talking nonsense. So here we got a, the, the bad guys are setting up over here because they know that a, an attack is coming. This guy's just, just luxuriating over here. You know, he's just lazy. Why, why move? Why, why should why should he have to move his body around when he can have all these machines and stuff like that? And he's just watching everything from the safety of, of his large screen t TV. You know, look at that face. Look at that face. Looks like Evil Sonny Bono. So Evil Sonny Bono over here is a... How's that for a reference? Does anybody under under 50 get, get Sonny Bono? And what do we got? We got OMAC. So let's talk a little bit about OMAC. OMAC is a one-man army corps. So what happened was poor Buddy Blank was was just like a cog in the system. He was just a worker. He 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 wasn't the best. He wasn't the worst. He was just like the most average guy in 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 the factory. Taking a sip of delicious Tim Hortons uh, coffee, and uh, he was frustrated, whatever, and uh, got himself into a little bit of trouble. And he meets Brother I. Brother I uses electronic molecular rearrangement which i think is is jack kirby's way of, of of predicting nanites before the word nanite was even uh coined you know so i mean i i again i'm i'm in awe of of this man's ability to uh to uh predict the future you know guys the guy's predicting nanites before before nanites were cool i don't know i don't know whether, which other way to say it but so the, the little molecular machines rebuild Buddy Blank into OMAC. And OMAC is a superhuman. So he, he, he's he got like a, 
nanites throughout his 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 system his, his system his his body and what does he do he he uh pretty much could do whatever whatever needs to be done uh but it requires power so the more he exerts himself the more power he uses and then if he uses too much power the brother eye has to like beam more power directly to him so he's kind of like this and what is brother eye brother eye is the big satellite in the sky that uh that oh here we go here brother eye brother eye is this big satellite in the sky that uh harnesses like solar energy and nuclear power and and just constantly beams him whatever he needs it's also scanning everything so this you know omac and brother eye are, are a team and Brother Eye so far is benevolent. You know, I, I don't know about you, but when I see a big supercomputer called Brother Eye floating in the sky, it raises my hackles. But uh, so far, and the Global Peace Agency, you know, I, I, I keep thinking about like globalism and the UEF. And, so it took me a while to realize that like this is like Jack Kirby. He, you know, this, it, he predicted the future. But uh, so far, the Global Peace Agency really are good guys. And Brother I is is a good guy. OMAC is a good guy. It's and and, and uh, they have the best interest of of humanity. It's I don't know, but something about this whole concept like puts me on a, on the defensive. Why? Because I never finished high school. Thank God I read this comic. Now I can get my diploma. You know what's funny? Even last night, last night I I had a dream that uh, I didn't finish high school. Uh, is that weird? I'm 50, 54 years old and, and I'm, I'm still having dreams that I, that I haven't finished high school. <laughs> I don't know. And, and it's a stressful dream. I, I'm like, like, because like, <laughs> I, I know this has nothing to do with OMEC, but I, I'm a crazy person. But in this dream, like, I'm going, I, 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 I for whatever reason, I'm already in school. I've, it's one of my recurring dreams and I have to finish school. But I already have a job. I have a house. I have a wife. And uh, some, I'm in the middle of class and I'm just like, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. Like, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not going to get my diploma. And But but I already have a job. I, I don't need to do this. And, and and it's like me just like playing hooky in, in, in my dream. I don't know. What, what does that mean? So, uh, so one of you armchair psychologists is going to tell me something like, oh, you, you're a sexual deviant. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm a crazy person. Maybe RJ can figure it out. He's smart. I'm not. All right. So now RJ is the uh, guy who runs the uh, fourth age webs uh, YouTube channel. He he loves, he loves OMAC. So RJ, tell me, tell me about my dream. Make, make, make a 30 minute video. Tell him about how I'm a crazy person. <clears throat> All right. So now they're rushing off to, uh, to save these people. Like I said, he's a good guy. He, uh, so what, what's going on? He he's he's infiltrated this like den of 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 bad guys, you know, and and they're all just ignoring him. They're like, because they they're still individual rights, and there's still a burden of proof in, in this Jack, Jack Kirby future. So so, brother, I just can't go ahead and start beating up everybody and and, and attacking and be like, you know, uh, muscling them around. These guys are just like, yeah. I don't even say it's like, hey, you got nothing on us. So they just pretended there's nothing there. They, they, they do a target practice against like holographic monsters. And Buddy Eyes is like, I know you got the body banks. I know you're doing all this stuff. And they're like, yeah, prove it, you know, because, you know, I, I, as, as bad as, as these murderers and, and kidnappers and basically like sex slavers, you know, every horrible thing. The government still needs to provide burden to proof. They can't just go arrest at everybody. So I, I do like that Jack Kirby is using a little bit of like a classical liberalism in, in, in his stories of like, you know, proving that Buddy Baker and this 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 horrible, like, not horrible, but you know what I mean? Like this this all-seeing eye in the sky are still you still bound by like constitutional law. Otherwise, they could be just as bad as, as, as the bad guys that they're going after. I don't know. There you go. I'm, I'm getting a little philosophical, but uh, so they're just like laughing at him. And now they're going to attack him. They're like, listen, big law guy, you're attacking us. You know, you're, you're coming into our space. We're not doing anything. So uh, Buddy Baker's just like, okay, now I can defend myself. You're attacking me. I'm just asking questions. I'm not, a, you know, I'm not arresting you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just a private citizen. And uh, you guys are attacking me. So now he's defended himself, basically showing off how powerful he is. It, it's it's a little legal standoff. And I do appreciate that they, they're they not making Buddy Baker and and and, and uh, Brother I as these as these 
all-powerful fascists. The Global Peace Agency could just arrest people because, you know, they do have to have burden of proof and, 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 a, and, and, a, and a, a legal system to follow. So this guy is willing to give up the goods. Why? Because he found out that they took his girlfriend. He's going out with some, some hot chick and the, 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 the Sonny Bono, the fascist Sonny Bono guy stole his girlfriend because he could make a pretty penny selling the hot chick to, to some, 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 you know, dowager woman. So he's just like, all right, you know, I, I, I love my uh, girlfriend. I'll show you what's going on. And so, bad guy still likes his girlfriend. And he's the global peace agency guys. They're all, they're all in uniforms. They're all like racially, uh, ambiguous because you know you can't identify with if somebody doesn't look exactly like you you can't identify with them you know, how brilliant is jack kirby you know and i love these sideburns i love these sideburns and now you know the global peace agencies that they're, they're running around it's this huge bureaucracy Here we got these ads more ads i for those of you who've been following my channel for a while you, you know that i'm i'm new to these early DC Comics, early 70s DC Comics. So I, I I get a kick out of these different ads, like this one. Make excellent extra cash with no real selling, just showing the sample, which we... Fake government IDs. Look, in a comic book. Let's get some fake government IDs in a comic book. Unbelievable. The world was a different place. Marvel Marvel Comics all has gun ads, and, you know, and, 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 and DC has fake government ID ads. Unbelievable. I... I the world, the world is a different. The past is a foreign country. So anyway, this 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 guy is is going around with Buddy Baker, and of course, like you know, they're going to the bad guy HQ. And what are you doing over here? Even though you're just going, to, you know, we're going in, and then they make it inside to Evil Sonny Bono. And look at they're showing holograms of of these hot chicks. This is real sinister. This is real creepy. It actually makes my skin crawl. And I'm actually a little amazed that Jack Kirby did it at, at DC published it. But what they did was they hired these girls to act like models and, and photograph them and then captured them and imprisoned them. So these girls thought they were like, you know, made it in the, in the, in the, the highfalutin world. And then, you know, they're modeling, they're mugging it up for the camera, blowing kisses and everything. And then right after the, they make this, this video, they're imprisoned because they're the merchandise. Oh, my God, makes it my skin crawl. And look at this big, fat job of the hut looking woman. It's like, oh, which one of these women do I want? I, I don't know. He's, woman, he's all my money. And, you know, OMAC comes and steps on it and goes like, you know, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. And he's like, yeah, well, I'm just trying to make a buck. And he's like, because you selling my girlfriend for $500,000, you know, keep in mind, this is 1975. So th this would be like almost like millions of dollars to do this now. And now this guy who, who's, you know, just trying to recover his girlfriend, but keep in mind, he's a criminal. He's, he's one of these capturers. <clears throat> he's, he's one of these like coyotes. He goes at, and, and gets these women and, and and guys for, for the evil Sonny Bono to, to capture, to use his merchandise, to use his livestock. But it, it didn't bother him until it was his girlfriend. And now he's like, $500,000? And the guy's like, I'll split it with you. No, I, actually, his share was 500000 So now he's actually like, oh, well, I'll get another girlfriend. And OMAC is like, what is wrong with you? You know, like, just when I started to think you had some sort of decency, he's like, he's you know, I'll get another girlfriend, you know, but I, I, I need to make some money. And he's like, oh, my God. Like, you know, he's a, he, he knows he's a piece of crap, you know. And now evil Sonny Bono is going to exterminate him. And here comes the global police agency, guys. They, they just come in it and spraying everybody. They don't use guns. They don't use anything lethal. They, they just, like, spray you with, like, knockout gas. Peace agents. And fat girl, you get your ass. You know, she's ashamed of herself as she should be, blob. And Omac is just notice Omac didn't really get violent in, in this. You know, he kind of just observed and and uh and called her the global peace agency because uh like I said, he, he he's a good guy. He doesn't need to go busting in people's faces unless it's neat. But he can bust in people's faces. He's when br when Brother I amps him up with these nanites, he could be like Superman level tough. And here we got the letters page. I always get a kick out of the letters page. What, what is this? Oh, uh, soldiers. Cool. Okay, soldiers. Prizes are cash and seeds. See, you know, this this is Omac. I found this to be very scary. You know, uh, this whole series. The next two ish stories. 
the next two issues are about a guy who steals the oceans and whatever. I find it to be funny, but that, that the, I'm not going to showcase them because I thought they were the weakest. I think Jack was running out of steam. Maybe he was doing too much. But the next next two issues are, are about Doctor Scuba, and Doctor Scuba could could uh, she could press the the uh, molecules of water and put them in the little tubes. So he's like stealing whole lakes and everything, and he's practicing up for uh, to to steal the Atlantic Ocean. And why? So so he could hoard all the world's oceans and hold the world for ransom. But he could rearrange molecules. So why not just make gold? Or better yet, just make the food and everything that he he needs. Like I just find it funny when you can control molecules. So so you want to hold out for money. If you can control molecules, you have no need for money. But anyway, that's. Like and then and then it just abruptly cancels. And I was just looking up to see if uh, if Obak is in other stories. Apparently, it gets tied into Command D, which I haven't started reading yet. I got like the first five issues of Command D, but uh, uh you know, I I I, I need to uh, need to read them. I, I I buy too many comics and I don't get a chance to read them all yet. So anyway, this is Omac. I, I find it to be fascinating. It's only eight issues and it's not really that expensive. I do not know if it's collected anywhere. Uh, that that I did forgot to to look up but i recommend it i recommend it it's it's just fascinating and uh it, it's kind of scary and uh geez what uh, 1975 so uh 30 40 years ago and and a lot of this stuff is like coming true you know a lot uh, uh, such good such a good comic i don't know too much coffee i'm getting getting a little amped it's it's a uh, it's monday memorial day i'm off today and i got friends come over we're gonna play a a, a big game of Twilight Imperium later on. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.